find the regions of increasing and decreasing for the following functions. My first function, f of x equals tangent of x. What's our procedure going to be? First, I find the critical points. So that's where the derivative is equal to zero or undefined. I'm going to chop up my real line or my region using those critical points. In each region, we check exactly one point against the derivative. If we get a positive number, the region's increasing. If it's negative, then we're going to be decreasing in the region. Important point, make sure you're checking your points against the derivative, not the original function. Okay, for tangent, I take its derivative, I get secant squared of x. Now note, no matter what I put in here, as long as it's defined, what's going to come out is going to get squared, so it's going to be either zero or a positive number. So we're always going to be increasing unless I'm undefined. So how do we get undefined? Well, note that secant is equal to one over cosine, so I'm only going to have a problem when cosine is equal to zero. That's going to happen when I'm at pi halves, minus pi halves, okay, pretty much anything with those two numbers where you add or subtract pi. Why is that? Well, cosine is going to be the x value on the unit circle, and if our x value is equal to zero, then we're on the y-axis, and that's going to be pi halves minus pi halves. So you'll note there, if we look at the graph, that's where the vertical asymptotes are going to show up anyway. So this is just going to confirm what we already know from the graph of tangent. Okay, it's going to be increasing wherever it's defined. For our next function, f of x equals secant x on the interval minus pi halves to pi halves. So first, I'm going to look for critical points. So I'm going to take the derivative. Derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. I can rewrite that as 1 over cosine times sine over cosine. So we're looking at sine of x over cosine squared x. Now, if I'm looking for critical points, first, if it's going to be undefined, that'll be when cosine squared of x is equal to zero. That can only happen at pi halves minus pi halves, okay, or add or subtract multiples of pi to that. We don't need to worry about those points we already have that those are going to be the vertical asymptotes, so we won't have critical points there. We're not even defined there for the function. So the only way I can get a critical point is if sine of x is equal to zero. For the region that we're interested in, that can only happen if x is equal to zero. So we only have one critical point, so we'll mark that. So if I have my box for increasing and decreasing, we're going to cut it right down the middle at x equals zero. Now all I need to do is check one point in each region, check its sign, and then that's going to tell me increasing or decreasing. Note here, make sure you check against the derivative, not the original function. So, point in each region, I'll use pi fourths and minus pi fourths. At pi fourths, I'm going to put that into sign, so the derivative is going to be square root of 2 over 2 over some positive number. Note, I don't really need to worry about what cosine is at pi fourths, okay, we know it, but for purposes of computing plus or minus, I don't care about the bottom, that's always going to give me a positive number. So I'm going to have square root of 2 over 2 over a positive number that's positive, so we're going to be increasing in that region. If I look at our derivative at minus pi fourths, we're going to get minus square root of 2 over 2 because minus pi fourths is down here. Sine is going to be the y value in the unit circle, so y values are negative down here. So I get minus square root of 2 over 2, that's over a positive number. So here, our derivative is going to be negative, and I'm going to be decreasing in that region there. If I want to finish, note, we're going from decreasing to increasing, so I'm going to have a local minimum at 0. And that's borne out if I look at the graph, Okay, if I put a circle around or point at zero, that's going to be a minimum.